Hey guys, welcome back. It's another mukbang, 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 however you say it. I say it mukbang and that's just the way it is. So tonight for dinner, I am having a Wendy's side salad with ranch dressing and I also got a four pack of chicken nuggets that I'm going to kind of break apart and put in my salad. And I got I brought my honey mustard up here just in case I wanted to dip a nugget in there. And yeah, so I'm just going to have a little chicken salad. Brought my vitamin water up. This is so good. This is vitamin water power C dragon fruit. This is my favorite. I'm gonna have to slouch so you can see me, but this is like the best setup I've got. <laughs> so anyway, and it's eight o'clock at night. I have the worst lighting, but we'll just deal with it. And if I have to turn on the light later, I will. And I brought me up some napkins. I'm thinking maybe I will have to do the light. But we'll see. With my croutons, I like to crunch them up so they don't tear up the roof of my mouth. It's hot in here. I have the air conditioner on, but it's still pretty hot. Don't want to make a mess. It's been a hot minute since I have done a mukbang, but um, I went to Walmart tonight because I had to buy stuff to make potato salad because tomorrow's the 4th of July and uh, my husband wanted me to stop at Wendy's because it's right next door to get some dinner and I'm not even really hungry but I haven't had anything to eat all day except for a handful of goobers. So, I thought I better have something, but I didn't want like a baked potato or a, a hamburger or anything because tomorrow is 4th of July and it's going to be, it's going to be pig out day. So I decided to get myself a salad and if I eat it all, I eat it all. If I don't, I don't. I wish I had pepper, but I'm not going downstairs again to get pepper. <laughs> Not bad. It's like my salad's kind of soggy because it's been sitting around for half hour while I've been trying to get things ready. These guys have really decent side salads. Even when it lands on the floor. Hope you can see me. I hope you're not. I hope I'm not like out of frame, but and they have really good chicken nuggets. I might need more ranch. I might need to go downstairs anyway and get some of my own ranch. But this is like the perfect little salad. It's filling and it's really good. All right. So let me tell you about my day today. Today was busy. Um, I had to go to the doctor today and he was clear in a whole nother city. We actually got right in and right out. And then, because my appointment was at 2 o'clock. And then after that, we were right next door to 
Tanger outlets, and so we went to the outlets. So we went to the Polo outlet, the Van Heusen outlet, the Tommy Hilfiger outlet, the A6 tennis shoes outlet. Cat hair, don't care. And Daryl didn't buy anything. There's nothing he liked. But I found a few things at the Polo Outlet. But I'm saving them for my birthday, which is in August. So, and you won't see me wearing them until August. Sorry, this isn't very crunchy sounding for you. It's just a soggy mess, but oh well. And then after the outlets, we drove all the way across the city to a whole nother city in rush hour traffic on the freeway to get my cat's remains. My little Lola Bell died not quite a month ago already and we just picked up her ashes today. That was hard. We've done that before with my dog about 10 years ago. Um, and that was even harder. So I have her ashes on my nightstand next to my bed, along with my dog's ashes. And then I have some of their fur. And then I have like their favorite toys. And they all just sit on my nightstand. But It's nice to finally have Lola home. It's been lonely here in this house without her. I have another cat. She's probably sitting outside the door, but my husband has a TV on full blast downstairs and I don't, you don't want to hear all that. These are so good. These ones aren't sugar-free. They have sugar-free ones. This one's not, but the dragon fruit flavor is so good. So after this, I'm gonna boil eggs and I'm gonna boil potatoes because I'm making potato salad for the 4th of July party tomorrow. I'm telling you what, I make the best potato salad. I know. That's a little conceited, but I do. I make the best. And if you're interested in that, you can check out my playlist and it's under recipes. And it should just say potato salad or my potato salad or something like that. It's amazing. That's why they want me to make it because it's so good. actually put bacon in mine and I had never had bacon in my potato salad before and then our friend made it and I'm like wow this is so good 
and so I'm doing it now and my potato salad tastes better than his because he puts other seasonings in his and I don't I just put a little bit of onion powder a little bit of onion salt and a little bit of seasonal and that's it he puts garlic salt in his in my opinion garlic salt does not belong in potato salad garlic salt does not belong in my potato salad so there because I use his recipe and that's whose house we're going to tomorrow but I don't use garlic salt and he's always like your potato salad is so good I'm like <laughs> I know but it's my secret and there's gonna be a lot of people at his house tomorrow so I have to make a big batch So I'm going to use the whole five pound bag of potatoes. It's extra good when you use the bacon that's raw and you have to pan fry it. But that takes forever. I just flung something. And so I use the pre-cooked bacon and I cook it in the microwave till it's super crispy. And then I crumble it into the salad. Because you don't want boingy bacon in your salad. You want crispity crunchity. Yeah. I'm about out of ranch here. So my husband for dinner, he had the $4 meal deal. So he got a crispy chicken BLT sandwich, a fry, and a four-piece nugget, and a Coke. Sandwich, fry, for yeah, four. <laughs> and $4. That's a lot of food. Sorry, I'll just have to sit and enjoy this for a minute. It's hard for me to talk and eat at the same time because then I don't really enjoy what I'm eating and then before I know it, it's over, I'm done with it and I didn't even taste it. You know, a long time ago, I bought a microphone to plug into my phone and like I can stick it here or I can just like leave it on my phone pointed toward me so that you can hear the crunching better and stuff. And I always forget that I have it. I think I only used it once and that was over a year ago. But that would have worked out well tonight because you can't hear my salad. And I know that people like to hear the crunch. Hmm. So I think the party starts at like six.
maybe seven. And we just go over, it's just down the street. And we have a barbecue, we have hamburgers and hot dogs. And everybody brings a salad or whatever. Desserts and stuff. And then after dinner, we all play volleyball. My friend has a big backyard and a big volleyball net. My husband doesn't play, he doesn't like to play. He, he's timid, he likes to watch. But I play. So we play that for like a good hour. And then at about 9, 15, 9.20, we start fireworks. I like to start them later, but, you know, the little kids, it's, it's late. People have to go home, so we start kind of early. I still have one more nuggie. I like to ration it. <laughs> and then my neighborhood, everybody buys fireworks except for us. And they buy the big aerial kind. And so we get to watch fireworks here, there, and there, and there. It's like surround sound fireworks. It's amazing. These people spend so much money on fireworks. And they'll shoot them off for the next two days. And then you can't do them anymore. But I don't care. I love this time of year and I love fireworks. And so when they blast them off at 11 or 10 and 11 o'clock at night, I don't mind at all. Hmm. For not being very hungry, I'm doing a good job. And the sun's going down. And I just realized every time I took a bite, my mouth is like, and salads flying out. I apologize. That's nasty. I'm really sorry. That's just nasty. I feel bad. When I went to Walmart to get potato salad stuff, it was so crowded. Everybody's preparing for the 4th of July. And then at Wendy's, the drive through had like 12 cars in there. I am not joking. And so I immediately just parked the car and went in. And I was out of there in like five minutes. Seriously, there's nothing wrong with just walking in and walking out. And everybody else was still sitting in the drive through line. Tonight would have been a good night to go walking. I like to go walking. I walk every night. 
I'm up to four miles. I walk four miles every night. Maybe five or six nights a week. I don't have time tonight. That's okay because I was getting a blister on my feet. <laughs> so, I need new tennis shoes. The ones I have are old. They're like four years old and they're Nikes and they're they're giving me blisters for some reason. This is so much food. <laughs> Excuse me. My last muck mukbang I did was from El Pollo Loco and I had the chicken taquitos and they were so crunchy and good. And now here I am giving you a soggy salad. And it's dry. It needs way more ranch. I'm getting hot flashes in here. Because I'm upstairs. And so it's really hot. The air conditioners, the vent is right there, but it's not doing it. So what are your plans for the 4th of July? What do you guys like to do? What do you like to cook? Do you do barbecued chicken, barbecue, barbecued hamburgers, barbecued tube steaks, sausages, pizza? What do you do? Hmm. As soon as I'm done with the chicken, I'm done. And that last mukbang, mukbang I did, both of my cats came in to say hello. Lola loved to beg. She was my little black and white kitty. She was 12 years old. And she had asthma. And pneumonia. And a little growth on her lung. And she just couldn't breathe anymore. And we did all we could to save her. Money was no option, but she just was going downhill so fast at the vet's office. She was in an oxygen, oxygen chamber for two days and her oxygen levels were just plummeting. And if we were to bring her home, she would suffocate right then and there. Bless her little heart. So we had to put her down. But we gave her the best life ever. She was my baby. And now my other cat, Momo, she's spoiled as crap now. She gets treats like every 10 minutes. She's getting to be a little fatty, but that's okay. All right, everybody, I'm done. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this mukbang. I'm sorry it was kind of boring and you couldn't really hear anything fun, but thanks for hanging out with me, and I hope you have a happy 4th of July. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this kind of thing. I also vlog and do hauls and whatnot. So, <laughs> anyway, 
Have a great day, everybody. See you next time.